So there's three main areas where we're using AI and like a proud parent um, of non-human children, I mean, of also a parent of human children, but three areas. And one is that we now inspect software for how much Gen AI code is in it. So we invented an ingredients list to know how much code is written by Gen AI versus written by human or a mix, because there are some risks associated with using either too little or too much Gen AI code. So we get the, we help with the Goldilocks zone to really to get the Gen AI usage correct. So that's one. Second, we started analyzing what the product does. So we got started with how secure or how much technical debt, what we call non-functional requirements about the code, kind of what's under the hood. We've now been looking at what the product actually does and how well is it doing it, which is product functionality. And we've used AI as a method because for a variety of reasons, it's really hard to understand by looking at the code and looking at the documentation what the code is doing. And so we've used AI to understand the product. And the third thing is that we use Gen AI as, as business leaders, and we've gone on a journey over the last six months. I would self-assess us as maybe a two out of 10 six months ago. And we really put our heart and, and effort into being an AI first leadership team. And now we're probably about a seven, nothing to do with coding necessarily, although it includes code, but product and sales and, and marketing and management. So those are three areas where, where we do use AI a lot.